Next item on the list is our floor connections. So for years we've used a bent angled rod. We would have to put nut and washers on both sides of a plate, cut our walls, allow for this to be fastened in, make it nice and straight. You take your ledger, you got to hammer the ledger, dents in, the rod puts a dent in it, then you got to drill it, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on a lot, very, very labor intensive. So here at Anvic, we strongly promote the Simpson Strong Tie ICF VL system. That system comes together as a base plate, a J bracket, whether it's for nominal lumber or LVL, and the attaching screws. So what ends up happening is you stack your wall up to top a wall, and then you're going to laser for the bottom of the ledger. On that laser line, you're going to tap the base plate into place. Normally what I do is I grab my drywall saw, and I just create a, a void there through the, the EPS for those legs to fit in properly. Makes it a lot easier. You push it back into place. You gotta make sure you're straddling a web. That way you can utilize that hole in the middle to put a screw into the web that holds that plate in place during concrete pour and make sure it doesn't pop out of the wall on you. Vadim's done a great illustration here on the right hand side that shows the inside of the wall with the rebar and those legs extrude protruding into the concrete. The holes are part of the design because the concrete gets encased around those, through those, and make sure it, it doesn't pull out from the wall when you fasten your ledger on place. And then the most important part, when you go to put your ledger on, the beauty of this system, it allows you to re-laser the bottom of the ledger, and it gives you some wiggle room to make sure you get exactly where you want it. And then the second most important thing is make sure you use the right J bracket for the right ledger. There's inch and a half for nominal lumber and there's inch and three quarter for what we call the LVL ledgers. And the ledger has to be put on properly so that the long side of the J bracket is on the outside of the ledger. You fasten through that ledger, through the bracket, through the ledger into that back plate. If you're struggling with putting those screws in through the wood, it's just as easy to take a drill, pre-drill the wood part, and then let those self-tapping screws go through the J bracket back into that base plate. Looks nice and clean, very strong system because the weight's being distributed along the whole wall. And then you carry on, put your joist hangers in, put your joists in, fasten your sheeting on, whether it's plywood or OSB and gives you a very strong connection to that ICF wall. Also laterally supports the wall at that elevation to make sure you're meeting code. 